Coast Patrol. Uh, we already have him out here, the, the, you know, the proud son of uh, Tomahawk, Alberta. Uh, it's been rumored that he's been running for uh, the city uh, uh, of Edmonton mayor position, but I've heard that he's going to have forgotten that uh, and be a great auctioneer for us tonight. So please help me welcome Danny Cooper. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Chris. Oh, I'm so excited to be back here. 20 years. I think, I think I've been here since, yeah. since day one. And I know a lot of you folks uh, don't know the story. Some of you probably do. Some of you are probably here for your very first time. How many folks are at this particular auction for your first time? Put your hands up. They have a tradition here to buy a shot of tequila for all the first timers. So how many of you are here for the first time? Let's see a hand. So nobody's been here before. The very first year they did this event, it was hilarious. But it wasn't. It wasn't. What was not hilarious was that we had uh, 400 people here, and they hired a newbie to bring in a truckload of live lobsters for the dinner, which was supposed to be served at 6.30. The newbie, ladies and gentlemen, with his crustaceans, drove all the way to Spruce Meadows outside of Calgary instead of Spruce Grove. So the Rotarians made the resourceful lot that they are. They mustered, uh, they got some volunteers, they went out, they got some barbecues, they got some beef. And you weren't here for that very first one, were you, Andrew? I was driving the truck. Well, then, <laughs> yeah, they put a barbecue together. And so, of course, the auction started late because of all of that. And the auction finished late because of all of that. And as soon as we wrapped up the auction at about 11.30, who comes whistling into the parking lot? The newbie with 400 live lobsters. So what did the Rotarians do? They said, fire up the kettles, let's eat the lobsters. And that's what we did at midnight that year. And that's why I think they kept this tradition where we start with the beef dinner, finish up with the lobsters a little later on. And uh, so 20 years now they've been doing the lobster fest. It reminds me of the newbie who walked by a restaurant and it, it said, lobster, lobster, tail, and beer. And he said, Lord Tucker, that's three of my favorite tanks. <laughs> woman goes to the dentist and she says, she said, she said, I would rather, I would rather get pregnant than have a root canal. The dentist said, well, let me know right now so I know which way to tilt the chair. <laughs> Trying to, bring, trying to get oxygen, and the pretty nurse walks in. She says, how are you doing, Mr. Graham? He said, I'm a difficult black. She said, pardon me? I'm a difficult black. She said, I'm not sure I understood you, sir. What did you do? I'm a difficult black. She said, calm down. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. I'll have a look. She pulled the bed sheets down. She looked at his package. She handled it all. She said, no, your testicles are not black. He took the mask off. He said, are my test results back? <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Are you guys ready to have some fun here tonight? <laughs> Boy, almost one year ago, almost one year ago tonight, I was in Victoria doing David Foster Foundation's 25th anniversary gala, and uh, it was a very incredible event. We made $2.6 million, and tonight my goal is to make $3.2 million here. It was kind of cool. Kind of cool last year at the Foster event. One of the items that he had for sale was his piano. And Andrew, what was so cool about his piano was that it was autographed by a hundred and different luminaries from the sport and entertainment world. Barbara Streisand had started the piano, Wayne Gretzky had started the piano, and 118 other famous people. Yeah, yeah, David Foster came up to me backstage just before I was to go on and start the auction. And he said, how much do you think we'll get for the piano? And I said, well, let me ask you this. If we got you a million dollars for your piano, would you consider writing the guy's wife or girlfriend, whoever buys it, write his wife or girlfriend a song for her and perform it on that piano in their home at a private party for their closest friends? He said, absolutely. And I got up there and nobody paid the million dollars. So we didn't have to, he didn't have to write a song. But we got a half a million dollars for that piano. We got $100,000 for a, a dinner for two with that Maria Bocelli in New York. So made all this money. I was flying back to Edmonton the next morning thinking, my God, I gotta start charging commission. And then about four nights later, I'm in a church basement in North Edmonton trying to get $36 for five rings of garlic sausage. <laughs> Saying to myself, I'm glad I don't charge commission. Anyway, we've got, some, we've got some work to do here tonight, so let's get started. Here comes my MC, Andrew, to fire you all up and describe the items. Where's Troy and Angie tonight from Cal Tire? There they are back there. How you doing, guys? Good to see you. One of our major sponsors. Let's give Troy and Angie a nice round of applause from Cal Tire. 
great supporters. The reason I sat, I just saw Troy sitting out there. Okay, so here's Andrew. You know, you know what, Danny? I think we'll get this 50 50. Yes, yes, that's uh, what I was uh, going to say. We've got, uh, we've got a total now. We've got $1,840 uh, available to our 50. So please pull your ticket. How much money? $1,840. That's one loser. Okay, now, Jim, thank you very much. Good gentleman here. Is that, should we call that one the winning ticket? Does it matter? Yeah? We'll see. That was what? It just kicked out the winning ticket. Let's go ahead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a no-brainer, okay? There's no way you can lose on this parking 50-50 here tonight, all right? They're white and red tickets. Even if you don't win the thousand and some dollars, put this ticket in your wallet or your purse and hang on to it. Someday you're going to be at a wedding. Where the bar is taking white and red tickets. Okay, here we go. The winning ticket, ladies and gentlemen, as spit out of the drum is ticket number 94266. Six. Not necessarily in this order. 94266. Six, six. Do we have a winner? Angie, ladies and gentlemen, from Cal Tire. That doesn't look like that was fixed. So good things come to people who give. And you folks give lots to your community. That's it, Angie. Congratulations. Good to see you again, Daryl. I'll come say hi to you later on. Give them a nice round of applause for you, Angie. They want to take this money. Don't worry. No, I know this lady. She'll spend that money here tonight. Okay, let's get started with the live option. We, uh, we, we, we're we're, we're remiss to have a couple of house cleaning items, if you don't mind. Uh, just if you're smoking tonight, uh, please don't go out the front. We want you to go out the back. Is that correct, Angus? By the bar? All right, okay, so if you, if you wish to partake in a cigarette or a cigar tonight, please do so by the back. Uh, also, if you're bidding in the live auction, please make sure you hold your bid numbers up for our runner to find you. All right, high, nice and high. All right, we'll, we'll begin with our first item. Uh, it's uh, dubbed the Dallas Cowboys season opener. Our sponsors are the Outdoor Kitchen, Boston Pizza, uh, Spruce Grove uh, Edition. Uh, and our air, air and accommodation sponsor is Direct Horizontal Drilling. This, this is a pretty amazing package. How many Dallas Cowboys fans have we got here tonight? How many NFL fans have we got here tonight? You like NFL? All oh, right, sold $10,000. Right back there, your first half I saw. Okay, so this is Dallas, the season opener of this game would probably be in when, June? Uh, so it's in September. September, that's what I meant. <laughs> the start of most NFL seasons. Yeah, perfect. When did they start their when did they start doing their season openers in September? That's you, isn't it? Okay, so this is for how many people? Uh, this is for two. Uh, there's, sorry, there's four tickets. Four four. Yeah. Okay. Two, 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 two people, four tickets, or four people, one ticket each. Okay, is there airfare included? Uh, there is an airfare and accommodation credit of $1,500. $1,500, okay. That's uh, $1,500, okay. All right, $1,500. Okay, it's not a lot to get four people down there. The accommodation, you're probably going to be staying with a Mexican family. But that, but that's okay. Speaking of which, I had lunch today at the Subway. Sandwich shop right by my house. I walked into Subway and they now call them sandwich artists. There's a big sign there. Ask your sandwich artist. They don't call them Filipinos anymore. Okay. Here we go. Three, 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 three